Choke Cherry Prunus Virginiana. It's a very, very common tree. It grows in the understory of the woods all around here. This is upstate New York. Uh, choke cherries don't get very big. You can see this little patch here. Oh, they get about 8 10 feet tall, at least where I live. And not much more than that. They'll grow in full shade. And as you can see, they'll even fruit in the shade. And as you can guess by the name choke cherry, the fruit doesn't always taste very good. But you have to remember something about fruit is that it's a lot like people. Some individuals are sweet and some are bitter. And choke cherries are the same. I've found choke cherries that are really delicious and some that are pretty horrible. But if you want to identify choke cherry, one of the easiest ways is to just find a, a, a branch and give it a little scratch and then smell it. Obviously you can't do that in the video, but do a little scratch and sniff and it'll taste like a very strong, uh, you, man. very strong smell like a cherry cough syrup or something like that. Some other features is the leaves are uh, broad, ovals. If this was black cherry, which is more of a tall tree, they would be slender and much more narrow. The other thing about black cherry is it has uh, reddish buds and choke cherry has a brown bud. And choke cherries come in these clusters. They're not ripe now. When they're ripe, they'll turn totally black and they will be heavily consumed by birds and all forms of wildlife. For it's not just the fruit that they're after, but the seed inside. This is Prunus virginiana, same as the almonds. So it has a tiny little nut inside the fruit, a great wildlife tree. Another thing you can use to identify it is it gets this fungus called black knot. And it's pretty common. That's it right there. It's like a swollen, see if it'll focus. It's like a swollen black canker that grows on the stems and branches of choke cherry. But all this undergrowth that you see is, is choke cherry underneath some big old ash and sugar maple. Thanks for watching.